Oh. Hello, and I'm Miss Clark, and I just started the recording. <laughs> Perfect. Welcome. We are excited that you all are here and joining us. Yes. All right, next. Oh, I have to let you turn them, Miss Clark, to this next slide. And this is a message from Miss Ivory that we're going to play for you all, for all of you to hear. This is our principal in case you are um, newer to Chansey or if you have not been in school, you've been virtual. We wanted to introduce her and she has a message for you. Welcome, Chansey families. I'm Miss Ivory, the principal here at Chansey Elementary School, where our vision is to help students overcome barriers to achieve academic success and impact the world. Our students come from all over the world, so what better place than Chansey to get started on their impact? We are going to work on getting to know our teachers tonight, learning about what happens in the classroom, and ask questions about what's going to happen in the upcoming year. Those are the three things you'll focus on this evening. We're so excited to have you. One last thing you get to do is find out how to volunteer. You're going to share with me or email me your, your contact information and let me know what you're interested in participating in. I cannot wait to partner with you for a lifelong of helping your student, lifelong opportunity of helping your student grow here at Chansey Elementary. I think it, okay, no worries. Do you, want, you want me to present? Okay. Technology, it's best. That's what we yeah. always say. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that when it's on a video, it automatically goes out. Yeah. Here we go. All, All right. right. Thank you, Ms. Clark. Yes. Yeah. So in first grade, we um, one way that we are going to connect with our families is by Class Dojo. So I'm not sure if you are familiar with Class Dojo from kindergarten, but in first grade and second grade and um, other classrooms, we are using Class Dojo. And that's the easiest way to know what is happening inside our classroom. So we will be posting updates, um, homework or what kids need to bring to school or if there's an important announcement. So we will continuously be in contact with you through Dojo. So that is um, very important. If you have a phone or an email address, we will be sending that um, information out on how to connect with that um, as the school year um, gets closer. And then also our email. So we have posted all of our email addresses right here. You could just shoot us a question or a concern um, through our school email address or the Chansey um, phone number, which is posted right here. So we will um, be in continuous contact with you all or you can contact us at any time. And then some important information. So Chansey program uh, or the Chansey programs that we have at school. So there will be ESL services for um, our English um, language learners. And then there will also be gifted and talented for fourth and fifth grade and primary talent pool for our K through three kiddos. Um, and then there is an advanced program for fourth and fifth grade. And then we also offer special areas in art, music, PE, and library. And then there are extracurricular activities such as quick recall um, and program solving, problem solving, um, the garden club, and girls on the run. And I'm not really sure, Miss Nip or Mara or Clark, do you all know kind of what those extracurricular activities look like next year, um, post COVID, or as we we're kind of coming out of things? No, I think that's a very good uh, question. And we are still 
I guess, in the midst of reviewing how things will look for the next year. I guess as CDC makes changes, then the district approves them and then they're sent to us. So as soon as we find out what those changes are, we'll be sure to share those. Yes, yeah. So those are just some of the activities that we offer after school um, programs for kids to get involved in um, with other classmates, um, K through fifth grade. So looking forward to those. Thank you. All right, now it's my turn. Um, this is all about some of the reading program that your students will be involved in in first grade. Uh, the first part, it's very similar to the kindergarten standards. The first part is foundational skills. Those are all those basic skills they need to help to promote their reading success. Their print concepts, phonological, which means letter sounds, um, phonological awareness, phonics, word recognition, and fluency. And we follow the same standards that um, kindergarten follows. It's just as at the first grade um, level. Language, which if you're familiar, language is very similar to grammar, grammar skills and bu building vocabulary. And when we talk about grammar, we talk about um, being able to capital capitalize the beginning letter of a sentence to put punctuation in the correct place um, and commas and all those different grammar skills that help them become successful writers as well. And then we build on vocabulary using the EL curriculum. And I'm sure if you've been in kindergarten at Chansey for a while, you're familiar with EL. It stands for expeditionary learning. And that is the curriculum that we use to um, implement language and all these different reading level skills. Um, we have reading literature skills to develop key ideas and details with poems and fictional books, and as well as building comprehension skills and strategies to read fictional books. We have reading informational text or books to develop an understanding of the key ideas and to learn facts about the different books that we read. And it also helps us build comprehension and reading strategies to read those informational books. And then the last one is composition um, and handwriting. And composition basically is learning how to write. And we've found that the EL curriculum is very supporting of that skill. And we build on their writing and handwriting skills through the use of the EL curriculum. I'm letting another friend in. Did anyone have any questions about reading before I go on? All right, here we go. All right, let's go on to math. I love first grade math. It is awesome. This summer, guys, when you all are at home, if you're outside with your chalk, get your markers out. Practice your adding and subtracting from 1 to 20 so that you can be fast at it. And these are some of the other things that you're going to become great at as well in first grade. Adding and subtracting and working with data, charts, picture graphs and tally graphs and bar graphs. And also we have a lot of story problems. So you will be using your reading skills to do some of your math problems. And we'll also be using the numbers, especially the numbers 100 up to 100. So from one to 120 actually. And we'll be doing a lot of place value, you know, your ones place and your tens place and your hundreds place. And we'll be counting by 10 often. And also we'll be doing a lot of different shapes, 2D shapes and 3D shapes. And then at the end, we'll be putting it all together. We review a little bit of everything when we come together to do our math talk. So I just hope that you love math in first grade. I know you will. Ms. Nip always brings such great games to share and she makes it such fun. And so you're going to love it as well. In class, we have math warm-ups and math talk. When you all get to share your strategies and how you all solved, I love that because I get to hear from you all. And we usually have one or two activities that you do on your own before you can pick a fun station to visit. We also um, 
monitor and you may be in a group one day and in a new group the next because we always look for the best fit for you in math to help you learn. And at the end of each lesson, we double check to see what you know by having a cool down. And that lets me know, oh, as a teacher, I need to work on this tomorrow so that I can better help you. So we always like to have fun in math and learn lots. And I know that you will. And I hope you enjoy the centers and the games that we have planned for you in first grade. All right. Now, is that my slide? I'm so sorry. I'm not, I'm not sure. I think this, this was part. mine. This is me, yeah. All okay. right, so these are just opportunities that will be available through JCPS through Summer Learning. Um, the first is the Backpack League, and this will offer all of you some time from first all the way to 12th grade students, some in-person experiences at different schools. And from my understanding, you can go to the JCPS homepage and find out all the information about all the different summer programs that will be available. The next thing would be your summer league, where students will learn virtually and earn points to make it onto our leaderboard. And like I said, more information is available on the homepage. And they also have specialized camps this summer, which help if you're interested in something, whatever you might be. I know they have a space camp. If you're interested in bugs, they have a bug camp, dinosaurs. There's all different interests. And you go to these specialized camps to do research about whatever you're interested in. And then at the very bottom, there's a link in that yellow square that are family guys. And we will forward this slideshow to all of you. Um, and so that you'll be able to link on it, click on it, and you'll see all the family guide and all the information and resources that are available throughout Louisville for the summer learning. All right. Well, I want to talk to you about our chance, Chancy social media. And we have a Chancy website that gives a lot of information. For example, it had um, information about tonight. Also, the Chancy Facebook page. If you are on Facebook, if you will like our page, you will get information about maybe, for example, uh, tomorrow I know students can dress up as a Disney character. So it'll give information like that, as well as we'll be sending that through Class Dojo, et cetera. And then you can also follow us on Twitter because a lot of teachers go on there and brag and show what we're doing in the classroom. And it gives you some more information uh, just about our school and your kids' classroom. And you can actually not only follow the Chansey website, you can also follow some of the teachers so you can see what's going on in your own child's classroom. All right, at this time, we would like to take a minute to pause and see if there are any questions from parents or family members about just what we have discussed or anything we have not discussed so far. Um, so if you would like, you can um, type the question in the chat box or raise your hand or just unmute and ask a question if there are any questions. No questions? <laughs> and if you think of questions later, please email us. We're happy to help. You can um, call school and leave a message or because um, we'll be happy to call you back. We understand that sometimes you don't think of it until later. So let us know. You can even if you're in person, you can send a message in your child's folder and the kindergarten teachers were on the same floor of them as them. And we talk to, with them on a daily basis. So if you have any questions you'd like to send to your teacher, either through Dojo or just in their folder, then that would be fine too. All right. Um, these are two ways to keep your math skills strong. One site's Happy Numbers and the other site is the Math Arcade. Uh, both of these move your child according to what he or she is able to do successfully. Uh, Math Arcade is fun. It looks just like an arcade, but it has numerous games on it. I don't know if you want to add anything in there, Miss Nip. 
I know Ms. Nip uh, really uh, introduced the arcade to us this year and kids really seem to uh, enjoy the arcade. It's just some fun math games for your kids to play all summer and just to keep them engaged as well as to keep their math skills moving forward. And especially if um, they're working on adding within five or adding within 10, there's a lot of those kind of games and subtracting to help them with those skills. Yes. And if you don't use, if you want to stay away from uh, off of the Chromebook for a while, you can always use things in your house to practice counting and adding and subtracting buttons, pennies. Uh, again, I said sidewalk chalk, even putting shaving cream on the table and writing in it, painting. So we'll send home a list uh, at the end of the year about those things that you can do at home for fun as well as online. So we'll, we'll be sending that. Friends, Miss Burton and Miss Ivory just joined us. Welcome, Miss Ivory and Miss Burton. <laughs> Hello, so glad to be here. Thank you all for being here tonight. Love seeing all these faces. I won't interrupt, I'll be quiet. <laughs> all right, we're gonna keep going. The next is um, connections. Did someone have? Um, these are connections for home for reading. Um, the first is literacy footprints, and this is something that all of you have access to already, and I'm sure you're familiar with it if you've been learning virtually through kindergarten. You can either access it um, through your Clever site, or if you need a link, you can ask your teacher to send you the link through a dojo message. Um, Clever looks just like this. It's a C um, on the top. You just click on it, click on where it says literacy footprints. This is the picture of what it looks like. And your student can go on there and read leveled books. Um, there's over a hundred for their book um, level. So feel free to go on and keep their reading skills sharp through the summer. The other, the next one is teach your monster to read. And if you click right there on the blue letters, that's a link. And I know that um, they are using it right now um, in, in school, but if you go on, you can actually um, create a parent uh, page and your child can play. So what it is, Teach Your Monster to Read is, it's literally a monster that your child creates the avatar and it, they're teaching their monster to read where they are. Um, and so the monster lands on earth and he cannot read. So they're literally using different foundational skills, letter skills, digraphs, all the different skills they need to become a fantastic fluent reader by teaching their own monster to read. And the last one is a great site. It's called Brightly. And um, that is a link on those purple letters right there that goes to Brightly. And it's a wonderful parent connection there is so many things on there I can't even list. There's um, activities that you can download. There's things that you can print off to help with their literacy skills. Um, there's different um, books that you can go and look up that would be appropriate for your child's, both your child's age and their reading level. So I strongly encourage that. And if you just Google Brightly as well, it brings you directly to the website. And, and then the last one is a family fun basket raffle. Um, this is something that they added today. Um, and it, if you're in, if you're an in-person, it came home on your child's flyer that kind of looks like this. It says all families who attend tonight will be entered into a drawing for a summer fun basket, one entry per student, 20 winners will be choose, chosen and winners will be announced on Monday, May 17th. So I will get the list because I was the host of the meeting um, and it'll send me everybody's name. And um, that's about the family fun basket raffle. And I think, oh, and then on lastly, um, this is just, we want to hear from you. So please, once we forward this slideshow to you, click on this family link survey. Um, we would all appreciate um, and enjoy your feedback for the upcoming school year. And we thank you all for your support. This year has been very, very rough 
for everyone and we couldn't possibly do it without the parents. So we greatly thank you for your continued support. And if you have any questions, we're happy to answer them right now. If you don't and you think of something later, please shoot us emails. We're happy to help. And we're excited to have your little ones join us in first grade. I know you're all excited to be first graders. So are there any questions? Well, three cheers for summer for sure. Yes. <laughs> yes. Everybody have a great afternoon. We'll see you. Thank in you all. Thank, Thank you all for coming. For coming. Nice yes, meeting you. Coming. Have a great Bye, guys. Bye. See you in first grade. Bye. Bye, Bye sweet.